This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. So today we will be reading This Little Trail Blazer. And it's a girl power primer. Okay, and I'll explain a little bit more about this, but for now. Lord, we just want to thank you for another day. We just want to praise you and love you. We ask you, Father God, that you make this virus go quicker than anything. And that you be with us. And we thank you for your love and your mercy. And that you continue to provide for us, Father God, our food. We thank you for our homes. And even though some mommies and daddies are going through little hard times, but that you continue to bless us with Jesus. And we ask you that to bless the people all over the world and all the children all over the world. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. So a trailblazer is a person who has set out to start something, to do something, to make a difference for other people. And this one is a little special one. It's by Joan Holub and Daniel Road. And it's about women who have started, in some instances, young. Some young and some older. And they've started to make a difference. It takes one person to make a difference. Okay? So I thought this would be something interesting and nice. So paving the way to the future that's bright, helping the world with their skills, smarts, and mites. So these little trailblazers cause great big changes. So as you can see, they are of different cultures. So the first one we have is called Ada Lovelace. And this little trailblazer helped think of a way to do math with machines, which are called computers today. So Ada Lovelace wrote one of the first computer programmers and the U.S. government later named a computer language Ada in her honor. So if you're interested in finding out more about some of the women that are mentioned here, you could ask your parents to help you with the internet and you could look up for further information. And uh, the boys can do the same thing too. And they could look for boys who were trailblazers or men who were trailblazers in their day. We have Florence Nightingale. This little trailblazer had the courage and skill to organize hospitals and care for the ill. Florence Nightingale began the first professional school for nurses. She was nicknamed the Lady with the Lamp. And today, when the nurses graduate, men and women, they have what they call a, a, a candlelight ceremony. And it's like a little lantern with a candle. They turn off the lights and they turn on the candles in honor of Miss Florence Nightingale. And it's a beautiful ceremony. We have Coco Chanel. This little trailblazer became a millionaire by designing sampler clothes for women to wear. Coco Chanel disliked the tight dresses of the early 1900s. She created comfortable styles that women still love today. And she has some really nice perfumes too. Mm -mm -mm, in her name. 
we have Rosa Parks. This little trailblazer caused a big fuss by not giving up her seat on the bus. Good for her. Rosa Parks' bravery helped change an unfair rule that African Americans could not sit by any Caucasians on the bus. So if you want to look for further information, you can do so. We have Maria Tall Chief. This little trailblazer practiced hard at the bar in the Firebird Ballet. She soared like a star. So Maria Tall Chief was the first prima ballerina of the New York City Ballet and the first world famous Native American ballerina. Isn't that beautiful? A lot of obstacles to be conquered. Wilma R Rudolph, this little trailblazer could run, jump and throw. When she hit the track, Crowds cheer, go Wilma, go. Wilma Rudolph wore a leg brace as a girl, yet she became the first American woman to win three Olympic gold medals in track and field. So sometimes, you know, as we're growing up, we may have little issues of health and what have you, but if we try to eat healthy, stay healthy, uh, keep in touch with the doctor and do the best that we can and our parents help us and we listen, we can accomplish a lot. And the thing is, never give up and always ask God to help us. We have Sonia Sotomayor. This little trailblazer can settle a fight about whether a law is wrong or is right. Sonia Sotomayor is the first Latina judge and third woman to serve on the Supreme Court of the United States. And she was raised in the Bronx in the projects. We have Ruby Bridges, this little trailblazer marched to first grade and changed every school with each step she made. Ruby Bridges was the first African-American child at her school and helped change things so kids of all colors now learn together. And that must have been a frightening experience for her, but she was brave even from being little. And she wanted to present this challenge to herself. And she did. And she succeeded. This little trailblazer, Maya Ling, designed V-shaped wall curved with heroes' names that beloved, that's beloved by all. So Maya Ling is the architect and sculptor who created the popular Vietnam Veterans Memorial Wall in Washington, D.C. And it's a beautiful wall in memory of the people, of the men and women who fought and died in the Vietnam War, which was a very long and sad war. And an architect, they design and create buildings and a sculpture they also design, but they chisel and like statues and stuff. So that's what the memorial is like. So you could do uh, checking in the internet for more of architectural and sculptural work. We have Malala Yousafa. This little trailblazer helps girls everywhere to be treated in ways that are kind and fair. And she took a very big risk because in her country, women were not even or not even allowed to speak or be seen or anything. 
and Malala wants all children to be free to go to school. She is the youngest person to win the Nobel Peace Prize. So you could have your moms and dads and help you search into what exactly takes place for a person to win a Nobel Peace Prize. And these are other women with uh, computers, lawmaking, designing, ballet. How will you change the world someday? So Joan of Arc, she was a teenage girl who led the French army to fight England in the 1400s. Elizabeth Cady Stanton, first woman to run for Congress, co-organizer for the first U.S. Women's Rights Convention. Harriet Tuckman, a former slave who led other slaves to freedom on the Underground Railroad. Elizabeth Blackwell, this doctor was the first woman in the U.S. to earn a medical degree. Juliet Gordon Lowe, she began the first Girl Scout troop in the U.S. to teach girls leadership skills. And then we have Nellie Bly, one of the first undercover news reporters, and she wrote about poor people's problems. Up here we have Bessie Coleman, the first African-American woman to get a pilot's license to fly airplanes. We have Frida Kahlo, one of Mexico's great artists. She is famous for painting pictures of herself. We have Lucille Ball, a superstar actress who was the first woman to run a major TV studio. Ella Fitzgerald, this jazz singer, was the first African-American woman to win a Grammy Award. Here, Indira Gandhi, the first female prime minister of India and first woman to run for president, Hillary Clinton of the United States with a major political party. And this one, will it be you? And what will you do? Okay. So this is the Little Trailblazers, and I thought it was a powerful little book to read and share. And we have things like this too, and the boys, you could look it up in, in the internet with your dads and your moms as well. So the thing is, if you don't know what you'd like to do as you start to get older and think about it, you could check further into the accomplishments of these people or you could ask Jesus to guide you as to what area you would like to go into. But remember, it's, you know, you have to like it, enjoy it, and then also to make a way for others, if possible, and make a difference and let your light shine. So with this, I leave you. Be blessed this week. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you all to be safe and healthy as best and your family and loved ones i love you and i miss you till i see you soon so long